Thank you very much. Um, good evening and congratulations to all of our winners uh, who truly represent what is best about our profession and whose work shows why journalism matters in a democratic society. I want to start with a shout out to some of our journalism fellows here tonight, then tell you briefly about what we're doing for the rest of the year and show you a brief video about the work of our 38-year-old organization. We are, as you know, an independent, non-profit, non-membership, an increasingly uh, gluten-free organization. <laughs> now, I'd like to get a lot of noise from the following groups as your names are called. The current class of Paul Miller Washington Reporting Fellows. Got to do better than that, guys. Paul Miller is one day a month for nine months. It's absolutely a terrific program. Members of the Paul Miller Alumni Group. I like that. Members of the next generation of journalists from John Walcott's Media and International Relations class at Georgetown University's Graduate School of Foreign Affairs. That's the idea. Barbara Cochran's Missouri School of Journalism students. Not the MIZ cheer? No, okay, next time. Journalism and other students from American University. I'll have to bring them up front next year or give them better mics. Uh, we also have two or three dozen speakers here tonight. They volunteer their valuable time without pay and are truly the wind beneath our wings. I would now like everyone in the room to please show appreciation for this very important group of people with your applause and cheers. Thank you. Um, I also want to uh, uh, point out uh, and uh, uh, acknowledge uh, a previous winner of the uh, Tayshoff Award, uh, whom I saw uh, this evening, uh, Bernard Shaw uh, from uh, CNN, uh, joins us over there. Thank you so much for being here. Now, for their special contributions uh, to the success of tonight's dinner, I want to thank um, MXM for the beautiful program. It's the MXM table. Prudential for the head table reception. Kiplinger for the support of Excellence in Online Journalism Award. Honda for donating a table to journalists. Bloomberg for the main pre-dinner reception. Bayer for the post-dinner reception. The Coca-Cola Company and New Star for sponsoring upcoming webinars. Allstate for support of tonight's delicious meal. And Digital First Media for support of the dinner wine. Um, <laughs> since I'm a speaker, I haven't tasted it yet, but I've been assured it is top drawer. Um, and all those who contributed to the nifty items in your uh, goodie bag uh, at your seats. Um, we want to send uh, wishes for uh, a speedy recovery to our PBS colleague, Miles O'Brien, uh, for recovery from his uh, recent accident. Uh, wish our board member, Emeritus Art we see a continuing recovery. Uh, wish our board uh, express our condolences to the family of David Deere, a longtime board member who passed away several weeks ago. Um, in terms of our programs, which I would like to tell you about briefly, um, we have a wide-ranging menu coming up in the remainder of this year. In the four-day category, we have a, our 10th annual program on retirement issues, funded by Prudential Financial, our third annual program on obesity issues at the University of Colorado. Um, I understand there's actually overseas, there's a tax on fat, um, and we're going to, I'm serious, and we're going to go into that at that uh, program. Our latest program on cancer issues, now funded by Bayer, Overseas, we are going to collaborate with the International Union Against Tuberculosis and Lung Disease. Uh, and key funding for that comes from Eli Lilly's MDRTB project. That's a program that we organize, but is uh, just for uh, non-US journalists, international journalists uh, from, well, obviously, around the world. 
Um, and we will be forced, uh, as, as, as we do here at the National Press Foundation, we will be forced to uh, go overseas for that program and letting no obstacles stand in the way. Uh, we will travel to Barcelona um, in October. Um, most of these programs now have webinars associated with them, extending their benefit in time and in space. In the one-day programs, we have the Paul Miller programs that I mentioned, our Capitol Hill issue briefings uh, in partnership with the Center on uh, Congress at Indiana University. Uh, the Miller programs, by the way, are sponsored in part by Gannett. Toolbox briefings on David Swit, uh, uh, on finance and policy, funded by the David Swit Endowment. And breaking webinars as we choose to do them um, uh, and as they happen. Um, uh, so one person who is not with us tonight is Evelyn Y. Davis, um, who has made a very critical contribution towards NPF's future, which you will learn about in this video. The National Press Foundation is changing with technology and the times. We responded to breaking news by hosting a webinar last month on bitcoins with more than 100 journalists in 25 countries joining us. We have seen a 1,000% increase in just two years in the number of people engaging with our programs. More than twice as many people applied for NPF's in-person programs than we could possibly handle. And we put on a webinar on the consequences of the federal government shutdown just 24 hours after it was announced. The vision of the National Press Foundation sees all citizens able to make free and informed choices about their lives, families, governments, and politics because of journalists. The mission of the National Press Foundation is to provide those journalists, whether employed in traditional media or working independently as bloggers, writers, web designers, producers, or videographers with the resources and knowledge needed to do their jobs. And that always includes face-to-face -face discussions with our speakers, whether those speakers are in the same room or halfway around the world. Knowing that I'm furthering that information and furthering something that's true, that has to be the most rewarding because what we do funnels out truth. If, again, if you're doing your job well, you're funneling out truth. What matters to the National Press Foundation is that the public continues or resumes its historic trust in journalists to ask questions on its behalf, providing the context, understanding, and facts needed in a democracy. Our reach has grown exponentially. Half a million annual page views, 1,000 page views last year of a single webinar, legal issues for journalists, two years after it was presented. You are playing that watchdog role and have, um, and have the knowledge and, and the know-how to kind of cut through some of the BS is really rewarding. Our programming is as varied as the news itself. The cost of college, understanding statistical risk, cybersecurity, obesity and health, retirement issues, immigration, economics, finance, <coughs> cancer, you name it. Our programs also help journalists build sources, improve their interviewing and online skills, and manage their careers. Last year, we did 45 days of programming, including 18 separate webinars. Our programs took place in Washington, Colorado, Paris, and from an improvised set in our conference room. Now, thanks to a generous $1 million gift from Evelyn Y. Davis and the Evelyn Y. Davis Foundation, we're on the brink of a bold new adventure in digital journalism education, the creation of a state-of-the-art webinar studio. Starting this summer, we will stream live and recorded segments for journalists and concerned citizens to watch anytime, anywhere, on any device. Our challenge is to bring the values of traditional journalism, deeply reported, independently verified, persuasively presented, 
to the new era of mobile and digital platforms. We're a small staff, just five of us. And we love what we do. Thanks a lot. Let me introduce the uh, people who uh, make the National Press Foundation function. Uh, Linda Streitfeld, our Director of Programs. <laughs> Jessica Jean Francois, Director of Operations. <laughs> Raina Abigail Levine, our Digital Media Manager, <laughs> who produced that movie. And Jenny Ashmar, our Programs Assistant. <laughs> Somewhere out there are, our, are two of our paid interns tonight, uh, Shanza Lewis and Minju Oh. Uh, thank you so much for your work. Um, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Ivan Goldberg, who manages our dinner, and to Roy Peterson, uh, who saved me from a real problem much earlier in the day uh, at the last minute. Uh, so thank you, Roy. Uh, thank all of you, um, and thank you. <laughs>